Hello and welcome to the JV and M Sports Fanatic channel. And so, Missouri cornerback Ali Green is going to be signing with the Chicago Bears. Now, we know the Bears, they really value their secondary. And so, in addition, like Ali Green here, excited to see how this is going to work out because Ali Green, he's currently um, listed as six foot two, about 205 pounds. They say his arm length is about 32 and a fourth. And so, um, yeah, certainly going to be excited to see what he's going to do here. And so, a little bit about him. So, about a year ago, he actually was attending Tulsa. So, at Tulsa, Green won a Thorpe Award. Um, he was a, well, he was a um, Thorpe Award semifinalist, I should say. And um, so, but he transferred to Missouri. And so, obviously, we all know the receivers that have come through the SEC. And so, definitely, he has seen um, a lot of those competitions throughout the SEC. And so, certainly, um, his 40 time, you know, 4.71. I'll tell you right off the bat, the experts are going to talk about his 40 time right there. Um, his vertical is 32 inches right there, broad jump about 9, 10. And so, um, but. In terms of, you know, some of the overview that they have listed for him, um, they say essentially some of his strengths is that initially what jumps off the page about Green is that he's got the ideal build that you want in a cornerback. He's tall and long and really has the measurables that NFL scouts seek from his position group. Green plays into his um, his tool with the physical play against um, receivers that some other undersized corners can. And so, I mean, obviously right there when you got the size and you can play up man-to-man -man like that against corners, I mean, against receivers, that's going to be pretty big. They say, likewise, his length makes him a very good tackler for the position. Ideally, a corner shouldn't have to do a whole lot of tackling, but when it's required of him, Green does a great job. So someone that can definitely go out there and tackle, it's got the length, got the size and stuff like that. Now let's see what they say about his weaknesses. Now they say taking a step up in competition this year, they say Green was exposed a little more than he was at Tulsa where he found some success. Due to his lack of speed, once um, Green is beating this struggle, um, they say he they say that he struggles to uh, make recoveries. And SEC receivers um, exposed that. Um, he was also slow in his transition, allowing the receivers to get that extra step. In the NFL, all those weaknesses and quicknesses and quickness and speed will be even more exposed. They say outside of speed, sometimes Green can rely a little too much on his physicality to bail himself out and in results and penalties, which um, – like his lack of speed will only amplify more on Sundays. And so I get what they're saying about the weaknesses there. But, I mean, you look at the upside there. I mean, obviously, you're going to want to cut back on um, the penalties there. But, I mean, I've seen, you know, even in the League of Boom when they had um, – um, I forget that cornerback who was opposite side Richard Sherman back then, but he's pretty tall. And he pretty much had problems like that when it came to penalties and stuff like that. So essentially, that's stuff that you can be coached on, you can improve upon and stuff like that. You know, they can work with him with that. And then when it comes to um, the actual cornerback um, speed and stuff like that, now that's tough, but um, I'll see if maybe a team, you know, looks at him and, and perhaps considers maybe some type of a safety role or something like that. You know, there's ways to go around that, but definitely he has a lot to work with there. So certainly we'll see how things play out there. And if there's one thing about the bears, they have a knife for time when it comes to that cornerback position there. And so they're certainly bringing in some guys here to try to see what they can bring. So we'll see what Ali bring, uh, well, I'm sorry, what Ali green brings to the table guys. And we'll keep monitoring that again. Um, the bears certainly needed um, more depth at that position and they went after it. Um, via the draft and now after the draft as well. So we'll see how that plans out. And best of luck to Mr. Green to make the team there down in Chicago. And, of course, this time of the year, you're going to see a lot of signings that does transpire throughout every team in the NFL as, hey, this is the time to evaluate the scout. And you never know whether it's the team that you're on or maybe another team you could be auditioning for that will be watching that tape. you got to go out there and leave a good impression. So with that being said, thanks again for watching. See you guys next time.